I am uh, the CEO and managing partner of Glenmont. Glenmont is a leading fund manager investing in offshore wind and uh, onshore wind. And we've been doing this for over 10 years, collecting capital from institutional investors. Today, uh, with respect to GWAC and COP26, I'm delighted to give you an update on offshore wind. At Glenmont, we believe that offshore wind is a winning technology. Um, it has achieved major successes. And just to highlight one or two, the capacity factors at offshore wind are very, very high. When we started 10 years ago, we were dealing with relatively small onshore wind parks with lower capacity factors and lower output. And essentially offshore wind is almost three to four times as effective as onshore wind. So very sustainable. The second thing I'd like to highlight why offshore wind is a winning technology is that the cost curve of offshore wind has come down enormously. And this is very important. It, today it's highly competitive and it's one of the cheapest forms of electricity out there. What is the future for offshore wind? We got to make sure that floating offshore wind is really exploited. So far, we've done the lower hanging fruit in the North Sea, where construction conditions are very uh, benign and favorable. But in order to unlock the true potential of offshore wind, we have to invest in floating offshore wind. Secondly, I think the future of offshore wind is highly linked to green hydrogen. Uh, we have to make sure that operators of offshore wind parks pay attention to green hydrogen. The benefit of offshore wind in terms of social economics and environmental benefits as I said, I think the, the size of these offshore wind parks makes them very scalable and a real powerful tool to significantly offset carbon. Secondly, I think the offshore wind industry has been very good at creating jobs. Glenmont is very much into offshore wind. Mm -hmm.